Hi friends, it's Miss Salome here. Um, reaching you, reaching out to you today through um, my home. This is my fish tank in my kitchen. Welcome, welcome. I had promised you I would bring my fish in. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to. So here we are, you get to meet them all. We have our zebra Daniels over here. They are tropical fish along with Soske. She's over here bobbing in the back. You can see her fin. She's a tropical fish. Goldie is a cold water fish. So she can survive in water that's a little bit colder than the other three. Um, the reason why I bring that up is because generally fish are cold blooded. So that means that their body temperature will fluctuate based on the water that they're living in. Um, thankfully we have it pretty warm inside here so they don't have to suffer. We keep the water temperature pretty nice so they are all thriving as you can see. Uh, Goldie is a goldfish. She is a koi, a type of koi. And she has unique coloring in that she's kind of golden and yellow underneath instead of just straight orange, white, or black. And that's unique because in China, back in the days when they had emperors, the Chinese em um, emperor family would be the only ones allowed to have those yellow goldfish. So I found out about that because I thought it strange that she was almost yellow colored, when in reality, she's kind of unique in that way. Her scales are lighter. Now, fish have certain traits that make them fish. They have scales. They need to remain moist and wet in order to thrive because their scales require that. Their fins also need it to be a wet environment. So you can see she has her tail fin, her dorsal fin, and her pectoral fins are on the front by her mouth. Her gills are just above her pectoral fins. Let's see if we she'll turn to the side for us. There she goes. There are her gills right there and she'll breathe through her gills. The oxygen will pass um, over her gills as the water rushes out the gill and be absorbed by her blood so that she can have oxygen in her blood and survive. Now, um, fish can use tools. They're brilliant little creatures. They can pick up a rock with their mouth and smack it on a clamshell and eat the little critter that lives inside. So they'll use tools. They'll also protect, and, um, uh, protect their eggs uh, before they hatch. Some fish will even put them in their mouths. Uh, not to eat them, of course, just simply to keep them there safe until they hatch. And then once they are wriggling and moving around, they'll set them loose. The mom and dad will set them loose and they can survive on their own. So that's something pretty unique about fish. They'll use tools, they'll take care of their young, and they breathe through their gills. They do not, as a rule, have lungs. Okay? Fish also share something in common with mammals and birds in that they have a backbone. They're vertebrates. So as you can see, her backbone is quite flexible as she moves around in the water. But she does have a backbone, and um, she shares that trait with us as human beings, as mammals. Okay, uh, Fish are different from other species, though, because most species, there are four or five species that can do, else, uh, can do um, land travel, um, but for the most part, fish do not thrive outside of the water. They have to have moisture. They have to have water running through their gills so that they can breathe. Um, there is a walking catfish, a mud skipper, a few other different types of fish that can come out of the water to kind of get around if they need to go from puddle to puddle to puddle. Or um, some can even climb trees of all things. I think it's called the climbing perch. It's an Asian fish. It can climb up a tree and do all kinds of things that I never knew fish could do. So some fish break the mold. They aren't the same as Goldie, say, but for the most part, fish have to have water because they need water to breathe through their gills. <laughs> um, fish are om omnivorous, which means they can eat greens and protein or meat. Goldie will eat shrimp in her pellets, and then she'll have um, broccoli or oranges on the side. I'll leave them up there at the top so she can nibble at them throughout the day. So that's something that uh, she can do. That's kind of fun for you guys to know. I don't, I don't think you would have known that before now. Uh, fish generally give birth to eggs. Some fish will keep the eggs in their belly until the babies hatch, and then it will look like they're having live young. However, that's not what's happening. So uh, generally, they will have eggs or lay eggs. So as an overview... Um, fish have scales, fins, gills. That's what makes them kind of unique from other creatures. They live in the water in general. Uh, and another thing that's unique about them is that they are cold-blooded. Their body temperature will change given the habitat that they live in. Goldie, of course, can survive colder water than my other three friends in here because um, she's a cold water fish. So that's uh, a little info on fish for you so that you can fill out your fish packet should you go into our Google Classroom this week and find that you have time to do some coloring and
feeling out. I hope to see you again soon. And I am so thrilled to have been able to invite you here in my home so you can see our friends. And I hope you enjoyed watching them. Wave bye-bye. I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming. Bye, friends. <laughs>